Hello, good morning from Colorado. It's technically the afternoon, but shh, it's morning somewhere in the world. So this is a propane tank I picked up the other day. I bought it off JT over at Colorado Custom Coachworks. They actually don't sell this one anymore. This is the exact same one I had on Dan the Adventure Bus. Um, the only other option was a larger one, which was more expensive. Who knew propane tanks were so freaking expensive? So this morning, well afternoon, technically, I'm gonna mount that sucker right in between this little tow hook and then that little cross beam there. And uh, I'm gonna disobey that sign there. I'm gonna drill holes through the frame. It looks like I'm gonna take these guys to the store uh, for the rest of that adventure. Check out yeah, their it's, video. It's pretty interesting. Because I'm gonna leave the camera here and we're gonna focus on the install. But Reed, I guess, is giving away my shuttle vehicle. That's Reed's extra car. So what happened was these guys showed up a couple nights ago. Yeah. Then Reed got back from a trip. They all got talking, and then because they have a small car, like you guys saw in the tour video, <laughs> Reed was like, "Well, why don't you take the car I got at auction for 650 bucks?" So he's Mr. White. So he's Mr. like, why, White. Don't, "Why don't you let me have the Corolla for a while, and you guys take this, and then when you guys come back around on in what five months, we'll yeah. just swap again." And then so yeah. we're with these people that are converting school buses, and they're gonna help <laughs> us convert the Chevy. That's right. So we're gonna go to the store. I'm gonna Mr. go with them. White. <laughs> That's right. I'm going to go with them to the store, help them pick out some stuff. But uh, I'm going to continue on in this video with the install of the propane tank. So this one is about 35 inches. This uh, bus frame seems a little bit more narrow than my uh, previous bus. Let's take a look. So we got a little issue. This frame will not fit my tank between the thing. So I guess an option would be to mount it like this. Yes, that doesn't really work though. So, this is gonna be a... Couldn't you grind up part of the frame? More of a pain in the ass. We could we could cut the frame. Notch it. <laughs> uh, no, we could, I don't know. Not I the cross maybe, brace. I could move, maybe move that cross brace over. Move, move. Well, yeah, you really... Or I could just reverse it and put it the other way. I don't know, what do you guys think? This thing bows out, you see? This thing bows out like that, I could reverse it and just go boop, 180 it. And then that way I could at least mount it from here to here. Oh man, wasn't expecting this. I was assuming it would be the same width. So, uh, anyways, good to know. It's something you learn. I assumed you knew what you were doing. You guys should all know by now that I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> it's but part of the fun, though. It is part of the fun. It is. Right. Because everything you learn, you learn something new every day. Really, truly, I learn something new every single day. Having a hard time getting these uh, bolts off. Can you even see that? That's what happens. I know a couple people were like, "What about the light? We can't see." What happens is when there's a bright part and a dark part, it will always go towards the brighter part, even if it only takes up a part of the screen. That's how cameras work. That's how this autofocusing works. Anyways, watch. Uh, like I said, having a hard time getting the uh, bolt off here, so I'm just going to heat this thing up because when you uh, heat up metal, it expands and contrasts. Hopefully, I'll be able to get this uh, bolt off. Not really sure how uh, much of this uh, flame I need to get on it, but uh, you know, hey, you only know when you try turning into quite a pain in the ass. Uh, either my impact driver is not strong enough, I didn't put enough heat on there, or perhaps I should be using PB Blaster overnight on these bolts, because uh, they are just super, super tight on there. Which isn't a bad thing, I know, uh, because it is a safety thing, it's structural, and uh, you don't want these things to be loose, but I just want to just reverse this thing and then I can use this to, uh, to mount the uh, propane tank. Uh, so, this is current life situation. We are under the bus so the light's not going to be great, but uh, Kyle used to work in aircraft stuff. Yeah, aircraft structural maintenance. Cool. Yeah. So he happened to find uh, a jack... Uh, yeah, this is a jack bar. Jack so. bar. 
And so what I'm doing is, um, so uh, put your uh, jack bar in there again. So he's helping me out, and I'm, I'm torching it to the point where once it starts to, once he tells me it's moving, he said it's moving, I'm then going to grab this uh, impact driver, and then... There we go. Now we got it off. Now, don't touch those because they're super hot. We're going to do uh, the, the same thing on this side, and then reverse this whole thing like I was talking about, and use this to mount my propane tank along with this back piece here. Filmmaking, uh, I don't know if this if, one, maybe if, we'll have to put it right here. Yeah, we can do that. If anybody thought we weren't going to be able to uh, pull this out in between the frame, you were 100% correct. But what we did do <laughs> is we we <laughs> we took it and we just hit it with a mallet and reversed it like so. Uh, so now I have a little bit of play. Um, you see how that one, it's flat across the bottom, it dips down, so this one now dips up. But at least I have some Which space. Which no reason, because what was back here? Nothing. It was just in case we wanted to run the exhaust back past this. I have no idea. Because that's what that one's meant for is the exhaust. Right. So if they were, right. if you wanted to make a different exhaust system, probably. Sure. I have no idea. So what we're doing now is we're just putting the bolts back in. We use a torch method. Um, so yeah, it that looks like it's going to work. I've never, I've never done that before. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Not really. this is what it looks like. Now I'm sure someone's going to say, oh, structurally that's wrong, whatever. Right I'm sure it's going to be just fine. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I got myself a piece of metal from the metal place. You know, I love people who aren't in Los Angeles or another big city where they don't really care about you. Uh, I happened to call the metal place and I said, hey, I need a piece of metal before the weekend. Would you guys mind staying open for me? And they said, actually, we do mind. But give us your credit card number and uh, we'll leave it in a flower bed. So I bought it over the phone and went and picked it up. It's kind of overkill, honestly, but it's gonna work. So I'd rather have a little, something a little bit stronger than something a little bit weaker that could possibly break. This morning I spray painted the uh, angle iron I uh, marked and drilled out some holes, which correspond to this, and, you know, I'm just about ready to install this bad boy. Through the magic of filmmaking, uh, these bolts are already through, those are already through. It was very easy, I used to use a, uh, a metal bit, I think this is uh, 3 8 I forget. And then I used a little cone bit to bore it out a little bit, so it went in there nice and easy. These are flange bolts. Uh, zinc and uh, flange nuts as well and uh, I have four more for each of the corners one two three oh you get it and uh, I ran out of I don't have four flange nuts but I was able to get two nylon nuts that should do the trick now one thing to keep in uh, consideration guys is uh, that yellow knob right here is the fill uh, you don't want it too close to anything else um, there are different types of fills, but pretty much they need a foot or two distance. That's about 16 inches of space. You know, hopefully that works. Uh, if not, I'll just have to modify something, but I believe that should work. Uh, also, PSA, it says not to drill or weld to the frame flange. There's a really good chance this is the frame flange. Oh well. All right, Kyle just came over here with nope. his uh, uh, Maverick sunglasses on. Yeah. <laughs> We've got Top Gun over here. He's like, "Hey, I want to show you a trick." By the way, guys, I'm all for uh, I'm all for tips. If you guys have suggestions, please leave them in the comments. I do love suggestions. Now he said, "Now what was your technique again?" So when you drill steel or titanium, you want to use the method of of heavy feed slow speed okay so that way you don't burn out the drill bit yeah it'll actually cut better awesome so but it can be kind of difficult especially when drilling overhead that's when yeah. it's like super hard yeah it is hard okay so uh put this on one and shove it in there basically yes. here you want these uh, sure sure <laughs> you only just learned about the suburban what it has settings for two people 
for the seats. Amazing. And in our Corolla, we always have to adjust it every time. <laughs> and now we can just hit A button. And it's so awesome. Awesome. Holy moly, that is very slow. That is much slower than I was going. Yeah, so it's going to take a while. Yeah. But if you can get, like, in a position... <laughs> yep. And I'm guessing you drilled a lot of steel in the uh, Air Force? Yes. Oh yeah, I see those big chunks coming out now. Probably not as hot either, huh? It's turning red. Whoa, yeah, look at that. So, see how much further I got? Yeah, you sure did. Yeah, <laughs> like more than <laughs> twice as far. Okay, I'll try that. In way less time, but yeah, it's definitely, it takes a lot more energy and effort. Double grease. But you can drill a lot better. And it cool. prevents the drill bit from actually burning out, so yep. if you have to drill multiple holes... I do, four. Yeah, it I've already be, done four. It can be a pain if you start to have a dull drill bit. Oh, so, yes, yeah. yes. Uh, Just a little and, pro tip when you work with metal. Me and Badge know about drill, uh, dull uh, drill bits very, yeah. so very now, well. So, like, you can see all these huge shavings that yep. I got to come off, so it's <laughs> because it's actually making a cut. And it just keeps cutting versus you're just like kind of yeah like 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 one of those like, apple peelers yeah instead of like work hardening the metal so you go really fast it'll heat it up and you can you're annealing the metal to make gotcha. it actually hotter and stronger so huh interesting yeah good to know thanks for the tip man yep. I appreciate that yeah, we're gonna get these in in no time Kyle thanks for the assist bro yep. all right so we got the uh, nuts and bolts on here who do with the fender nuts uh, you don't really need to as long as it's tight all the way uh, you don't need something on the top side on the bolt you can just screw in with the impact from the nut so you learn something new every I single think day you can only do that with an impact driver though if you just have a regular one it wouldn't work yeah you Probably. might you might be right yeah now well I was under the bus for a couple hours for uh, eight bolts miles you guys remember miles miles been in here with this grout I've never seen anybody grout before. <laughs> that is pretty interesting. So what's the technique here, Miles? Spreading it. Spreading it. Spreading it like butter. Spread it. Like send it. Send it, yeah. Huh. Full send. Interesting. Right. Yeah, full send. And you just wipe it off with the sponge and it looks like this. Nice. Looks good, man. So we went with a, a gray grout, and uh, do you need a light? Uh, no, I should be good. Maybe later, yeah. Cool. Well, it's looking pretty awesome here. Thanks, man. Miles with the tiles. Good job, dude. Thank you. All right, today we are having a little meetup. It's also snowing right now. It's a little on the cold side, so Miles is going to work on that. I'm going to clean up. This is uh, progress so far. We, uh... I did get one incorrect uh, nut and bolt, so actually two, and then we stripped one. So um, I have to pick up a couple more of those. But uh, if anybody shows up for the, well, we've got a couple people inside already, but um, we may uh, check in a little bit and uh, just update you on the, uh, the little meetup over here at Reed's place. So everybody, we are just hanging out. This is a meetup. This is a crew. Where's all my woo girls? Woo! <laughs> so uh yeah and we had uh zach come all the way from salt lake city so thank you for coming out man Dude, really insane. appreciate it nine that's hours. a long nine hour, yeah. that's like no, us coming from moab eight, the other day it took us hours. 10 hours yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hours. A super super long drive where everybody else is local more or less yeah, yeah. from arvada yeah? yeah okay that's close by we had two i know your home depot things. really well no, and the Lowe's. <laughs> and the Costco food court. We had two more people, but they had to leave because they had to let their dogs out. So. Oh, gotcha. Yep. That's right. Oh, yeah. Cool. So anyways, this is what our meetup looks like, guys. Yeah, so cool. Like, right. more than one person showed up. Yeah, yeah, totally. Sure. So thank every one of you for showing yeah. up. We all love it when, uh, when, you know, people come to meetups and come and meet us. So it's much appreciated. Sweet. We're now saying goodbye to uh, Zach. Uh, thank you again. Absolutely. It's been a blast. You drove all day to get here. Now you're driving all the way back. Yep. 
probably just drive for two, three hours. Uh, probably about one o'clock in the morning. I'll sleep for a couple hours. Cool. And, uh, and nice. Salt Lake. Well, please keep in touch. Keep Absolutely. me posted on the uh, the bus purchase. I want to yeah, follow along uh, if you're on Instagram or something. So. Absolutely. Yeah. I want to know. I want to. I want to see what you get. Sounds great. <laughs> All right, man. Cool. Safe. Safe travels. Uh, thank you. Later. And also, guys, we're just finishing out the night watching a little exploring with Josh. Josh, there's a really good chance we'll be back in the month of December. A little secret. Yeah.